Welcome to Radio PV TV The Day with the latest news from the international photovoltaic market in cooperation with SolarServer.com. Thank you for watching. The Indian renewable energy blogger Ritesh Potan of Natural Group has released a list of five predictions for the nation's PV market in 2012. Topping the list, Potan predicts that off-grid PV applications will increase in volume, particularly the commercial rooftop segment due to accelerated depreciation and increasing power costs. Potan also predicts that engineering, procurement and construction short EPC prices will average between 1.26 US dollars per kilowatt and 1.62 US dollars per kilowatt in 2012 that renewable energy credits will fall and that PV plant consolidations will begin in 2013 due to discounts backing out of power purchase agreements, in short PPAs. Finally, Potan predicts that small EPC contractors will quit the grid-tied PV market and either go out of business or switch to off-grid PV and solar thermal. Potan kites PPA prices falling below 1.44 US dollars per kilowatt as a factor the move to off-grid applications with too many organizations pursuing PPAs. Natural Group states that there is currently an access to uh, sorry of EPC providers and states that those without the financial security of being backed by an international corporation are in greater danger of failure. The Long Island Power Authority short leaper from New York, US has approved a new feed-in tariff for solar photovoltaic PV generation with a cap of 50 megawatts of PV over the next two years. LIPA's Clean Solar Initiative will pay 22 US cent per kilowatt hour for PV plants between 50 kW and 20 MW under 20-year contracts. LIPA will begin accepting applications under the program on 16th of July 2012 and projects connected before this date will not be eligible to participate in the program. Under the program, 5 MW of capacity will be reserved to PV plants up to 150 kW, 10 MW will be reserved to PV plants between 150 and 500 kW, 35 MW will be unreserved. A number of US utilities, municipalities and states have approved feed-in tariffs. However, such policies typically deviate from the European model in one or more aspects and few have led to rapid growth in the PV markets. A notable exception is the feed-in tariff in Gainesville, Florida, which is closely modeled on European FITs and continues to be subscribed fully year after year. Solar-grade PV polysilicon prices are forecast to drop 48% and wafer prices 56% year-over-year in 2012 due to the NPD Solar Bus Polysilicon and Wafer Supply Chain Quarterly Report. With such severe price declines, only 12 Chinese PV polysilicon manufacturers are still producing. More than half of these companies are running at significantly reduced utilization rates, Solar Bus reports. Industry-wide wavering plant utilization is forecast to average only 53% in 2012, but as prices approach current cash costs of even Tier 1 makers, price declines are expected to slow to less than 7% per year. Average 2013 polysilicon prices are projected to be 23 US dollars per kilogram and wafer prices to be 25 US cent per watt. As described in the NPD Solar Bus report, even at these low prices, top tier makers have a path to positive margins. Lower priced polysilicon translates to lower cost PV wafers, and wafer makers are continuing to drive down processing costs with holistic approaches to increasing recycling, reducing electricity consumption, and more productivity enhancements. So, as far as the news for this day, if you like, we'll be there for you tomorrow again. Have a nice evening. See you.